Yo, what is up everyone? Hope all's going well for you. Welcome back to Get Jack. Now they can off here in official PvP. We're here in Aberration, picking up on the six-man tribe servers where we left last time. So I'm trying to make up as much spam as physically possible for the new area that we've kind of like moved out to since the last video. So we put out that turret tower and now we need to basically put gates and things like that out to there. Uh, we're, we're kind of moving up. We're going to put out some tech gates, uh, which make it a lot more, a lot more annoying to try and see forward through. So we've been farming up a ton of metal. Let me see if I can find it. I think there's a ton in this fabricator right here. Hey, there we go. Um, and we're going to turn all this into spam, and then we're going to work on our next turret tower. So I've got a bunch of normal turrets made up. We're going to make those into heavies and be working on that. So we just need to keep expanding out from our cave as we go. So it's probably going to be a decent amount of building today, and we'll, we'll see what we can do. We'll, we'll do some random stuff uh, uh, around. We can always do some stuff around the base. I mean, there's so much going on on these six-man tribe servers that definitely stay busy you, you don't run out of things to do so let me grab the snake here quick i'm not moving all this freaking metal by hand um we've got these basilisks now so we kind of went crazy taming basilisks we've have we've had like a real struggle finding high level basilisks so any of them around 80 to 100 we've tamed and we're using them as weight snakes so this one and others are getting up there like they can get to like 9k weight decently quickly so we've got 9k weight snakes they can't quite hold as much as like a body bag can like for metal and things like that but you can slot cap them with pretty much anything but metal um and it's probably the easiest way to move this between things anyway so you can put things in like his tail at the end of one uh fabricator or whatever and then you can move it from like his head so you can actually like cover a long distance with these it's pretty cool so let me get all this into here i'm gonna craft or continue to craft these up I'll probably just use up all the element that I brought down on these. I've also got... No, that was the same. thought I got the forge there for a second. So, basically, we're going to be building today. Probably doing, uh, you know, the random stuff if we can find anything around. And I think I want to go and get, like, a new Reaper or something like that because they're still doing that event. And I'd like to get one that's, like, purple or blue or whatever the heck the color combination is now. Alright, so I finished up the heavy turrets, and now I'm on to the tech ones. I just have to go for, like, a poly run and get all that, but I figured we'd check and see where we can put our next turret tower. So we need a platform. Let's go with... Do I have any more foundations? I want to put some foundations out with a turret and kind of see where we can place everything within the 100 turret limit, because we're really working in between there, and we got to get really close to where like each limit is or whatever so that's kind of annoying but we'll do it don't have any more foundations actually i'm overweight <laughs> i need to put these ones back i forgot how much these freaking platforms weigh jeez i need a couple though that's all right okay let's go see here i went and put those gates and everything out there so i spam that um where's the drake i'm looking for wait drake there we go Okay, so, let's go see where we can put this. Um, as you can see, we've got a lot of Reapers now. <laughs> like, I swear, we've got a good 40, 40-ish Reapers spread out everywhere. So, we're getting up there. I'll kind of take those out of the ground and show you some of the cooler ones that we've gotten. But, that is for a different day. I think we'll go through, kind of look through the base and stuff like that here in one of the next episodes. I can show you some of the dinos and mutations and stuff we've gotten. Alright, so let's see here. I want to put it off to this side. Now, I'd prefer to put it closer to the base, hopefully on this little, like, thing with all of our gates off to the right. But if we have to put it on the left one, it won't be the worst, I think. But I would like to get it on there, like, up here, if we can. But it all depends on the turret limit, so... Let's place one here and see kind of where we're at for that. There we go. I hate how you have to place these from above. Like, seriously. It's driving me crazy. I probably complain about it every time I put one of these, but still. It really makes no sense. I'll just jump off. I think I should be able to, like, do it from above. Out of my way. Ruining my spam. As you can see, there's quite a bit of it out here now. I've kind of scattered the tech gates throughout there. 
We'll work on upgrading more. Actually, that ain't bad right there. I'd like to do it maybe closer to this, though. Dude, that Drake is tweaking out, man. You okay over there? Ow. Are you seriously, are you alright? Are you alright? I just made all those words into one. Alright, I'm really trying to concentrate on this though. This guy's tweaking out. I mean, I can't I can't even handle it. You're breaking your spine or something? Jesus Christ. Settle yourself, man. Alright, let's go to this side. For some reason, I'm just... I'm struggling to place it. Maybe it's the spam. Maybe it's that... Drake driving me insane. But let's do this. Maybe from right here. I want it like in this little kind of corner area. Why can't I put it there? It's probably like a gate or something. Probably can't build it with gates here. It's probably a poor idea to put all these out without putting it here first. Oh, 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 that's it. That's the spot right here. Come on, give me, go back to that. We're there. Got my hopes up. Don't do this to me. You see how annoying this is? Why can't? It's like right here. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, fine. We'll do it right there. Not really where I wanted. I wanted a little bit more in, but it is arc. And we gotta deal with what we what we gotta deal with. Alright, let's get this thing. Get a foundation right here. Maybe like there. I think this is where we would put a tower if we were gonna put one there. Alright, that's 61. I don't know about that. 62. Which would only give us... It all depends on how much, you know, that's at. Because that would give us 40 for this tower, but these might... Yeah, those are already at 85. Like, what's the closest one to me? 86? So it's at 86. That means we could put 14 here and... If we put more than 14, we're going to interfere. So, yeah, that's not going to happen. This is not... Uh, that's not going to work for that tower. Let's see. Yeah, they're all 96 or... or ter oh, sorry, 85. I was reading the slots. What's... 85 or whatever the hell it is. You know you know what I mean. I just picked up the turrets. Now it's 85. Okay, so, anyway. We're, gonna, we're not going to put this here because that's just not going to work. Um... Over there? See, that's where I kind of wanted to do it, but that's still 30. I don't want to even deal with this area. Over, let's just leave it. Yeah. I mean, won't hurt to have a, another platform here as spam. I'm not complaining. We'll leave that there and just, it'll just be there now. Okay, so let's see here. Where do we want to put this now? Uh, I think we have to go on this bigger cliff. I think it's the only option. I can try and do one maybe on a cliff platform above here. Like, maybe there? But... Okay, let's see here. Let's try it right there. Because if we could do it right here, and it's out of limit, that'd be alright. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. Let's go... I feel like that was a little bit high. Okay. What about here? 32. Dang, that's still... Th I mean, it's it's only 26 right there. But again, it's probably interfering with that in a way that I don't want to deal with. Okay, I think it's a little bit too close. We're going to have to go up on this ridge. Yeah, alright. That was a fun learning process. Let's, um... Yeah, 32. I don't like that. Let's scope it. Just... Just to see. But I'm pretty sure... We only have space for like 14 within that range. Oh, that's that's some nice that's some nice mesh right there. Look at this. You can't even place it in some of these areas. This is this is just beautiful. Look at <laughs> All right, we'll place it right here on the edge of whatever the heck that is, and I'm thinking we'll go like a three, three by three. Does that sound? We'll either do a 3x3 three three or a 2x2, two two, depending on what I want to do with this area. We could hang it off, but 
I think we'll just hang over the hatch frames. This is going to be a little bit of work, though, because the, the ground over here is really crappy. We'll just have to work out the best way. I'll kind of lower it with some foundation or with some pillars and stuff like that. So we'll see if we can get all the foundations flat. But I don't know. We'll, let's remove that. Go back to where this is. All right. I need to work with this a little bit. Okay, just making up all the ammo that we're going to need. Now that we figured out where it's going, I pretty much had to stock up on the ammo that we're going to need for it. So I've got tons of wood on deck. Now, Crazy had a huge idea, and it's awesome. It's probably one of the best things ever. And he removed the center, basically where we had that uh, fabricator, and he put a, a hole in the ground so we can just bury the snake. Now, we would just leave the snake here, and you just unbury it, and boom. You've got pretty much an, a, bo a body bag that extends to, you know, here. You can go to this one. You can go to, you can, you know, grab it out of him. You can go over here. Maybe you need to put a little bit of some something over into, like, you know, maybe. Okay, it's, uh, I'm glitching out a little bit. My bad. This is a bad sales pitch. Maybe right here. Maybe you need to put a little something into this. You can do that. It's awesome. It, it really works really good. And you can kind of push him forward a little bit and move all the metal then into the replicator too. So look at that. That's a way to circumvent the body bag stuff. And it's not bad at all. The mesh with the snake is actually better than probably everything. You can run on its back really well. And boom. It's gone. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so let's get all this ammo out. I need to get all this moved up into that uh, snake up front. Or basically, I'm just filling up all these uh, ammo storage snakes. And we've got three stock caps, I think, actually. Alright, I've been meaning to get this for a few days now. But I'm too lazy. It's too far away. It's actually directly across from our base. Um, our base is over there, and there's the, one of those special explorer note things right here. So I've been kind of stocking up uh, to use it, but it's kind of tucked away in this little, I don't know, ledge thing. Look at this. It's so random. Come down here. I'm going to get it with my Drake. I'm already maxed on XP, so I can't get any more XP unless we do like Ascension or something. But look at this. Oh, dang. <laughs> what? Looks like it's like a piece of maybe one, maybe the three you put together or something like that or all of them you put together. I don't know. Um, maybe when we get the full picture of all of them, I'll read it. But I don't, I've never really followed much of the lore of Ark, honestly. Um, let's be real. That's, I mean, that's all I play for is the Ark lore. Um, but <laughs> let's get full advantage of this. What is this actually? It's a different color than the other Explorer notes. I believe it's four times, so. Six times. What? So no, quadruple. I don't know how to read. My bad. Alright, <laughs> four times XP. Not whatever six times would be. Alright, let's see how much we can get on this Drake actually. Um, I'm gonna kill as many spinals as possible. Get this one pumped into mo or to melee damage. Not move speed. Not even possible. Um, we'll, we'll pump this one up, see how far, far we can get him with just some spinals in this explorer note. Alright, just running out. No. Uh, I was hoping I could get this last spino. Alright. See what we did. I think a decent four levels, something like that. Six. There we go. Sounds not bad. He's actually got a decent amount of XP in him. His health has already been buffed up his stam now he's going all melee so not bad might as well might as well take out this last one huh but i always try and take advantage of these xp notes i'm like my really good drakes and i'm trying to level up because they're so much better once you get that xp into them they're kind of crappy honestly when you start out you can you can't use them to fight anything Alright, here we go. Just finishing up the structures here for the turret tower. I had to wait for a CP because it's taking forever for these snails. I don't know why they can't just hurry up and produce this for me. It's really freaking annoying. Um, what's nice is we get like 2.5k per run through these, which is pretty good. It's not bad at all. We could definitely use more, as always, but it's also enough to build some pretty big things with just like the CP being produced. So, let's see here. I need to make a little bit 
more of the hatch frames, things like that, and we should be all set actually. Okay, trying to foundation drop this. It's not too bad actually. Once I figured out where I needed to put these, so we should be okay. Move that, boom, three by three. Uh, I just had to use like pillars to drop these. I've shown it before, so I just, I figured I'd leave that part out for this time. All right, let's grab these. I'm gonna try and, actually we should probably check the turret limit too. Um, I'm gonna try and get this all level with ceilings. That's It's zero right here, so it should be fine. Although I can't move. <laughs> all right. Zero. Okay, zero everywhere. This isn't interfering with anything. We can do our full 100 tur limit right here, which we have about 60 something, so it's pretty close. Um, I mean, it's not that close, but if we were to interfere, like, think. If we were to put it close to there, we'd have like 30 or 14, I think we had slots to work with. I'm not trying to deal with that. We can always expand to 100 or whatever as we go. So, what I need to do is do some walls going up on this part that's the highest. I'll do that and then put ceilings across and then build down from there. I think it'll leave us a little gap here above the floor too and I think I know what I'm going to do with it. We'll kind of turn this into like a sniping tower as well as a turret tower. So let me work with this a bit. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Okay, there we go. Now, what I've done is I left some gaps all at the same height so that we can put some ramps and make this into a little bit of a sniping tower. No, please go through it. Oh, really? Come on. Well, that kind of sucks. I was hoping they usually they'll, they'll go through each other. You can kind of put them there, but I'm just going to remove it. Just put it right here. That's totally fine. Yeah, it's not gonna let me. You can still see and shoot out of that. So that gives a little bit of a gap so that you can shoot out of, which is nice when defending a tower. This will be cool. We're gonna put so much spam around this where hopefully we can basically just delay people as, as long as we can before, you know, we don't wanna be offline raiders or something. That's pretty much the biggest worry in six man is you know trying to get people on uh during all points and whatever so we're pretty good about it but you want to give as much time in between somebody getting in as possible all right pretty much filling up the normal turrets now at this point i'm taking some of these shards over there too though because i'm gonna be putting up the tech turrets now so i got some turrets and electricity going just so that we can kind of cover ourselves as we put these in my oh, weight drake isn't that good I started like leveling him in HP and Stam, and then our old weight Drake died, so I had to change him to weight, so he's not that good. Alright, let's see. We've got a ton of stuff here, as you can tell. Probably not something you want to just bring out without turrets out here, so let's get all these up. Also, I decided to go with a 2x2. Two two. As you can see, I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking a 3x3 three three turret tower was like... The, the normal thing and then I looked at it when I had, had set it up and I'm like what am I doing I'm, it's supposed to be two by two oh I don't know all right we're done I think at least for now uh, I also spammed all the way out to pretty much the charge node area I'm gonna try and mix in some more tech gates things like that as we go but for now I think we're all set let's get past all this now with the one on the left all set now, the right one's all stocked up. We should be all set pretty much for the front. There is something I want to do with the back. We're going to kind of fix our turret situation back there. I really don't like how it was set up. And uh, so I'm going to go and fix that up, um, kind of work with that a little bit today too. So you'll kind of see what the outer back defense is going to look like too. I'll show you this though. I really like how this turned out, like with the little gap and stuff like that. So I know it's only a 2x2, two two, but, you know, better than a 3x3, three three, right? You know what I'm saying? All right, so uh, you can see out, I don't know, works well, looks good, covers this cliff. Next one, I think, is going to go across that way, uh, but that's pretty much a lot of what we're going to be working on for the front defense. I know it's been two videos kind of focused on this, but as many of you know, kind of important to, you know, protect the, the way into your base, I guess. 
All right, we had a pretty big hatch today. We've got a whole bunch of stuff around here. We brought some megalos out. We've got some glow tails. Whole bunch of stuff. Look at how tiny these things are. Actually, are any of these mutated? I didn't see these come out. Actually, this one's a different color. Are you a mutation? Nice. It is. All right, we got a glow tail mutation. Doesn't look that cool, but hey, it's a start. I don't know what stat it is. I'm not the one breeding these. Uh, crazy just hatched all of them. I didn't uh, see them until now. So we've got our Reapers, actually. You kind of missed a little section. We all went and got, um, what were these, 145? 145 Reapers. So we got five of these popped out. Uh, mine actually came out pretty decent. I'm going to level it all. Where's the good one? This one, look at this beast. 371 melee. It's insane. Um, they all came out with a decent melee. I'm going to level mine all in melee, and I think everybody else is too. So we'll have a nice batch of those now as for this turret tower this is what i've been working on so i want to do another side on the left there but it's been such a pain building that thing and i just want to be done with it so we're going to put in a little bit of work into this hopefully you can see the finished product uh, the one behind it is the old one and i'm going to be removing that so i already took out the other turret tower that was back here and hopefully we can consolidate all right here we go i finished setting up the hatch frames for this guy finish setting up the hatch frames on that back turret tower so we should be able to just pretty much finish it up with like a tech gen but I needed more black pearls and since we're raising so many rock drakes I need the venom too all right, that's all I wanted was some venom I'm trying to not get hit by these as I grab all this because my dura on my hazmat is not good so I've got a decent amount of venom stocked up here should be enough to tide everything over for a bit. That's a decent crossbow from a nameless. Get rid of all this garbage, though. Let all these nameless kind of build up on me. Don't need that. Okay. Have a nice little pack. Actually, let's just... They should just keep spawning. I'll go grab uh, these black pearls. Stay on the drake. Leave me alone. All right. Thought I saw another one over here. No? No. Okay. Kill all these. Hopefully get some venom. Hey, there's a black pearl thing right there. Can't miss that. Come on. Come on. There we go. Not bad. Alright, let's kill this mob of nameless. I think we should definitely have enough uh, for a tech gen. I'm actually making two. One for our main base area up above and then one for that back turret wall so this should be good plus some extra let me get rid of some of this meat and we're just gonna get out of here i'm not gonna fight these any longer i'm done with this area okay sorry about the lighting this is nasty going through this area jump up here quick let's get this tech jenny set up so I'll show you the finished, or mostly finished product. We can kind of work on this as we go. So I've got all these hatch frames set up. Still need to put the turrets on them. And I'm working on that other side still as well. But we need to get this Jenny up top. And on this platform, I think I'll put another smaller tower as well. Once we remove that back one there. So the back one's going to get taken out. Because that was just too far back. Wasn't set up as well. No, no, please, no, Ark. <laughs> oh, feels bad. Crap, don't do this to me. Alright. Alright, we made it out. I need to do something about these crabs. We've got a freaking graveyard of them. I mean, it's not really a graveyard if they're alive. We've got, like, a, a crab yard of them over there. Alright, easy does it. See how fun it is to build an aberration? What do I do for a Quetzal? Yeah, that wall's a little bit messed up. Don't don't bot don't don't worry about that. You'll never probably see it again. It's just a little bit off. Alright. Don't have a door on this yet either. I forgot about that. 
Where do we want to put this thing? Like, right here? I think that'll cover probably the furthest range downwards. And shard it up. Okay. We're good. Probably turn it up just to start. I, know, I already know it's going to need to be turned up. Let's go to that. Alright, so put some tech turrets on the outside of here. I'm going to need a door. Let's just go set these down quick. Alright, so we've got this interesting little base here. That I'm trying to drain with a megalo. Interesting way to lead you into things, but yeah, so there's this little base here um, It's this crouch point where you can't get anything through evidently you can get a megalo through um, This is the biggest thing that we, I could oh, 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 oh. Yeah, It's the biggest dino that I could get through um, Oh shoot, um, but they've got a lot of turrets up there and We're just trying to drain them with as much of this as possible. The, I mean, the Michael has taken a decent amount of damage from the turret, so we're soaking pretty well, but it's going to take a while. Now, we normally wouldn't bother with this, but these guys were getting a little bit aggressive towards newer people. And, I mean, if we're already dealing with this kind of situation, I really don't want to wait until they have heavies in here, so I think I'm going to foundation off this area. It's really close to our base, and I don't want people to continue to build in it. It's too close. Oh. For something like this. I need to find a better angle though. Some of the turrets I already drained, I was getting a lot better. Where like 90% was hitting the Megalo, but now I think I'm going to have to move it. We tried to actually whistle the Arthro up there. Because they're all on only survivors. Like they won't shoot a dino. Uh, we tried to whistle the Arthro up, but it was too steep of a cliff. So that it's not gonna work. Maybe I can get it from right here. Oh, there. You're doing it. I'm trying. But okay. I moved him a little bit. I would be awesome if you can find the angle where they completely sh keep shooting. Them. Oh, who is this guy here on the other team? Must be one of the pushing. Yeah, a lot of shields. I gotta go. Damn, I gotta go repair the shields. How are you doing? Look at this. They're I pretty much all out. Look at that. Pretty much all out, yeah. Oh, you can come under. Okay, I drained them all. <laughs> okay, take a rocket. Let's shoot a rocket under. Yeah, okay, we'll here I'm getting shot. Okay, how can I we run up this thing? How do they get Oh, yeah, thing? you suck them all. Awesome, man. Awesome. <laughs> Alright. Go get this. We uh, did it. <laughs> God, that was annoying. There's always uh, a way. <laughs> Draining with megalos. Look, if you go over here, like here, you get hit from one of the one. Okay, I see one. where it's shooting. I'm gonna get and where the hatch frame can't shoot. And you get hit also far here. Oh, <laughs> shit, my bad. My bad. Everything broke. Okay, yeah, just shoot. Yeah. Not too worried. My bad. Still gonna have to get rid of some more if we're gonna rocket it, but I might be able to just climb and pick up there. Give that a shot. You try shot shooting from down there. Uh, yeah, it's not like... gonna happen. Yeah, when I die, then you should go over there and try to soak over there really good.
All right, I blew up most of it. Oh, two oh, ravagers awesome. come out at me. It's not that bad. But Jonah and Paracer platform on Shadow with 50, 56 armor. Oh, that is good. Oh, yeah, it is good. Heck yeah. Just look at this. I leave it in the smithy so you can see. 9C4 in the fabricator. Oh, look here. Look in the smithy here. I'm going to get these electronics. There was a uh, C4. Smith is full. Smith is full of uh, gas pools. You have flippers, red gem, I take those. Gospels, metal. Okay. Yeah, look at this. Look what at this nice peepee. Thing. This peepee is awesome. That is really good, man. Yeah, That's take it, cheap. take it. Okay, heck yeah. Shield. Take also the, the shield. Thank you for the shield. <laughs> Gospels? <coughs> Black person. Nah. Take all these gas balls. Red gems. Oh, that overweight. Wanna put them back? Take some. I'm gonna go put this shit in the drink. I guess. Alright, so I was glad to clear out that base. That was really close to ours, and I really don't like any of those like being built in, especially that close, because once you get heavies, if you would have had heavies at that point, it would have been so hard for us to get in. And if they wouldn't have attacked other people on the server, we honestly wouldn't have ever like even seen that they were there. So, uh, we got that out of the way. It was uh, definitely nothing good for us to get out of it. We got a good BP, actually better than our uh, Paris or platform for some reason they had. Um, but anyway, that's where we're gonna stop for today. If you like this video, definitely hit that thumbs up for me and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Y'all have a great yesterday and of course, catch you next time.